It is good to see the Home Secretary here today, because we do not see her that much. And if I'm honest, I don't really know what she does. Because the DLUC Secretary, the DLUC Secretary has been put in charge of doing antisocial behaviour. The Prime Minister has taken charge on small boats. The Navy has been in charge of patrolling the Channel. The, oh, it didn't work, did it? No. The <laughs> DLUC Secretary, in fact, that much vaunted policy that they announced a year ago, has ended up with actually record high levels of dangerous boat crossings. The DLUC Secretary is also deciding on the Prevent Review and running homes for Ukraine, while the Education Secretary, the Work and Pension Secretary, and the Treasury have taken over deciding legal migration policy and have cancelled the Home Secretary's plan to bring back the net migration target or cut student numbers. The Immigration Minister has taken over asylum accommodation because when the Home Secretary was in charge, she broke the law. The Security Minister has taken over security policy because she can't be trusted not to leak. She's not charging criminals because that has got worse. In fact, the number of prosecutions fell by 20 per cent when the Home Secretary was the Attorney General. She's not sorting out the Windrush scandal because she's cancelled all of that. She's not doing work on police standards, tackling misogyny or racism or violence against women and girls because she thinks all of that is woke. All of that fuss about the sacking this week of the member for Stratford as the Tory party chair and minister without portfolio, the real minister without portfolio, is still in office. Though she doesn't get let out much, she doesn't even do TV or radio interviews. So I don't think we've heard her in the morning for months or on a Sunday for months because she is the shadow of a Home Secretary. She is a shadow, shadow Home Secretary. So why doesn't she just get out of the way and let somebody else do the job? Absolutely bravo. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I couldn't disagree with anything that Yvette Cooper said. I thought she was bang on the money. Well said. And love the way Leaky Sue. Absolutely spot on. Leaky Sue.